10 reasons to abolish the UN. All right. This is something that I saw favorited by Pat Condell. And I saw the video. It's only like a one minute. Or liked. I don't know if it's liked or favorited. Liked by Pat Condell. And it didn't really tell you anything, but it, it kind of shed some pe people giving their opinion on it. Uh, saying what the UN is. Um, and then I saw someone else made a video about it was re ten reasons uh, to abolish the UN. And <laughs> I feel bad because just like with Pronkerty or with anybody, I go on there and then people follow me. So I got some people following me over there to the comments. Okay, what? Well, fine, whatever. One of them was in on Free Zone, and she follows me wherever she wants. But then some other jokers followed me over there and kind of screwed up my comments because I left actual comments like, you know, well, what about, uh, I can't, what did I put? <laughs> I said, well, Libya, well, because this is the thing. This is why I disagreed with this dude's video. Um. At four minutes and three seconds in, he says, In the UN, we only allow democratic nations. Saudi Arabia? A monarchy? That's, that's, that's democracy? We only allow democratic nations. Really. North Korea is real democratic. Libya? Under Qaddafi. Oh, wow, real democratic. Um, and people added things like, oh, look at he's so white, he's pink. He looks like a pig, pinky pig, and all this kind of stuff, which, yeah, he kind of does look like a pig and his skin is pink. But you should, you know, when you say crap like that, it just downplays what you, um, what, what anything valid you have to say. So I'm going to go through the ten reasons, ten reasons, uh, and this was by an atheist, why to, um, why to abolish the UN. Um, it's, uh, well, here's the good ones. Uh, UN obstructs prevention of genocide. Yes, they did, and it's in Rwanda and many other places. The UN is hopeful, hopelessly corrupt is number seven. The prevention, the, the pre uh, obstructs prevention of genocide is number three. Uh, number four is distorts women's rights to promote violence against women. That can actually be said. Five, cannot prevent nuclear proliferation. That's very true. Uh, six, the UN is, undemoc is, is an undemocratic perversion of democracy. That's correct. Number seven, hopefully. Corrupt. Uh, the UN is an economic drain on America. I don't know. Uh, the UN, number nine, the UN, the United Nations endangers American civil, civil liberties. Uh, again, I'm not just, well, if you're, they kind of don't believe in free speech, which is crazy, because um, they're against hate speech, whatever that is, um, whatever government can classify that as, I guess. Number 10, the UN holds human rights hostage to its double standard. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, I should go back to the number. Number one, the United Nations obstructs America's defense of the free world. Again, not, I don't know, I don't need to look into that more. Uh, number two, the United Nations is a force of global injustice. I would agree. Three, the UN, okay. Um, I hate the UN because of the Balkan War, because the Serbs were the good guys, basically, if you want, if you want to say good guys in that thing, and they, the UN supported the KLA and the fundamentalist Muslims and just blamed the, uh, the Serbs. And even if there was a genocide or an ethnic cleansing over there, you don't carpet bombing, bombing hospitals, bridges, roads, factories targeting all the civilian things, uh, all civilian infrastructure. Um, the UN was, did nothing, just did nothing about Darfur, um, did nothing about Rwanda. I, I shouldn't say did nothing because they're doing nothing about Darfur. Uh, did nothing to prevent Rwanda. Actually, AIDS and genocides because, oh no, we can't intervene, we can't, this is just the population fighting it out. Um, from its beginning, it was those who fought the fascists, but we let in the communists. Soviet, Russia, China. And he says, oh, well, you know, these buzzwords like communist. Communist is a buzzword. If somebody's a communist, fuck them. 
I don't mean to use strong language, but seriously, what, why, okay, we're against fascists, but we're not against communists? Communists are worse than fascists. Um, democracies, oh, we only let in democracies. Gaddafi's Libya, Saudi Arabia, which is a monarchy, Saudi Arabia, not just Arabia, it's the House of Saud that owns Arabia. Um, yeah, o occupied Burma. I'm not going to call it Myanmar, it's occupied Burma. There's no such country as Myanmar. It's Burma. But I bet this, uh, this, uh, damned of something, uh, I don't know, better, better off damned is the name. The one that somebody called Pinky Pig, but, uh, yeah, so, oh, these buzzwords. Um, and he says he hates Islam, but that nobody else, sh or that a government shouldn't. I love when people do that, by the way. Well, I hate this, but I'm not for people to... <sighs> to me, that's... Really? I hate communism, but I, I'm not for any uh, anybody else hating communism or government hating communism. No, it should. It's, communism's evil and psychotic. Uh, oppressive. Horrible. Worse than the Nazis. I mean, they, I'm looking at how many people they killed. 120 million in the 20th century. All right, that's enough of this. Peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria.